Well, this is our mill here at Great Harvest. As you see, we can dump in the wheat into this hopper right here, and it goes down into the two stones. One of the stones is spinning, and the wheat goes between the stones and gets sent out after it's been ground up through the, sh the tube here. It goes through this pipe right here and into what we call our brutes, which is where we store the wheat and uh, have it ready to go. So right now we're going to fire it up. It's going to get real loud. area here at Great Harvest Bread Company. We're working on a batch of bread right now. Uh, you can see it's right next to the mixer, conveniently located, so we can quickly get it over there. Just doing a batch of bread right here, throwing in the last of the ingredients. Have it right next to our sink, where we can get some of the filtered water that we use here and we use this uh, giant wooden paddle here to stir up the dough And then afterwards, we throw a lid on the top. And that's how we make our bread until it gets to the mixer. This is our mixer here at Great Harvest, a little bit bigger than the KitchenAid that might be at your house. We're going to go ahead and put the dough hook on. The mixer has several safety measures, so no one ever gets their hands or fingers stuck in it. The first of which is this gate that closes. These bowls weigh about 70 pounds each and can hold a lot more weight in dough. And so we raise it up onto the mixer. We're going to engage the clutch and the dough will start to mix. And that's the mixer here at Great Harvest. This is our bowl lift here at Great Harvest. Rather than lift the dough out of each bowl by hand up onto the table, we have this great bowl lift that lifts the, the dough. Get it locked and secured in there. The dough starts raising up. This is our honey heat whole wheat dough right here. Scrape the dough out onto the table. The bowl itself weighs about 70 pounds and the dough obviously adds a lot of weight to that. And then the bowl heads on back down and we're ready to start cutting and kneading the bread. This is how we cut and weigh the bread after we get it onto the table. Use these scrapers to cut the bread on our scale and get it to the right weight before we actually knead them. Then the bread goes on down the kneading table for the kneader to start kneading. How's everyone doing? Doing great, great. How's the kneading? Amazing. Who makes the best bread? Great harvest. So our bread is proofed here. We're about to put it into our giant rotating oven. It's like a Ferris wheel. Just 
out the shelf there. And slide the pans on in, simple as that. This is our Popeye bread. Parmesan cheese, spinach, red pepper, garlic, and onions. Hit the button and it starts baking. So we've got our breads all done here. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out of the oven. That same Popeye bread we put in earlier. We'll try and get it out of the pans as quick as we can here to keep it from getting soggy. And that's it. After the bread cools, we go ahead and hand bag each loaf with love, squeezing all the air out and giving it a nice little hug before we twist tie it and set it out for sale.